Hey guys, it's Big Weather. Got my big recipes. Apron on, I'm ready to go. Also got my, check that out. My uncle actually served on that submarine. Funny story about that. I'll tell you about it sometime if we ever end up having a cold beverage. Anyway, uh, today we are gonna make one of my family's favorite recipes. This is a recipe I grew up on uh, and it's a super homey, yummy, kind of easy recipe to do. Let's do some chicken and noodles. Making it easy. Sometimes I cook chicken, but this week I didn't have time. So we just stopped at the local grocery store, got a little uh, rotisserie chicken. I've let it cool. We're gonna peel it and get our chicken chunks ready to go. Next, I had an extra bag of baby carrots. They were buy one, get one. My kids ate the one bag, they didn't eat the other. So let's go ahead and chop those. Carrots are chopped. You're asking me how much I'm using? About a cup. It may look like a little more than that. I'm doubling the recipe. Next, gotta slice the onion. I just chopped the onion. Uh, you don't need to watch. It's, I did it quick because I don't want to cry. Now, we got some celery stocks, so let's go ahead and get those chopped. Celery is done. I've got all my prep work done between my chicken, my carrots, my onions, and my celery. Let's move on over to the stove. So I got about four cups of chicken broth on the stove. I'm gonna add a bay leaf to that. There we go. And what I think makes it Reams Homestyle Egg Noodles. These were made first in Iowa where I grew up, so my mom made these all the time. We're gonna put a bag of that right in there. Now we're gonna give that a stir and bring it to a boil. Let that sit for 20 minutes. So it's been going for about 20 minutes. We're gonna put our carrots, our chopped onion. Ooh, that's hot. And our celery. Let me go get the spices. To that we are gonna add about a half a teaspoon of thyme. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of dried parsley. It's a little more, that's okay, I like parsley. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You can do fresh ground if you want, but again, I'm trying to save a little time. That's why I use time. And we'll give this all a stir. And that's gotta sit for, bring it back to a boil and let it go for about 10 minutes. And while that's happening, let's make some roux. I actually had to switch pans. I've got family visiting, so I'm, I tripled this recipe. So I had to get a bigger pan. But uh, we uh, are putting our roux, it goes directly into our noodle mixture. And we wanna give that all a big stir. And here is the last ingredient. We're adding heavy cream. Very rich, you don't eat it all the time, so that's why you can add it to this. Give it a stir, we're gonna let that come back up to a boil. Another two or three minutes, we're good to go. And now that we got it back up boiling, we're gonna take that chicken. We shredded, it's funny to add the chicken at the end, but this way your chicken doesn't all fall apart in the hot mess. You wanna put it in right at the end, let it heat right back up. About five more minutes. Put it in a bowl. So there you go, it's in my bowl. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's still steaming. I gotta tell you, it comes out the temperature of lava, so make sure and give it lots of time to cool off. My kids also like it the next day. It keeps really well if you just throw it in the fridge and reheat it the next couple of days. Make a lot of it, I promise it'll get eaten. You got the fresh vegetables, you got the celery, the carrots. Of course, the spices, that thyme just gives it that old fashioned kind of a taste. And it's super quick and easy. By using the rotisserie chicken, it took me less than an hour to make. Finally, when I was a kid, my mom liked to serve the super mashed potatoes. That's always good too. But for me, I like it just like this. Mm, so hot. But that food will eat.